All right, so a lot of y'all been asking me how to get a uh, motion blur on my videos because I put motion blur on the last two videos of mine. Excuse me. I put motion blur on the last two videos of mine and they look really smooth and clean. So a lot of y'all wanted to know how and I just decided to come with this easy, simple tutorial that for some reason not a lot of people have done and the people who have done it, they didn't get a lot of views and I'm pretty sure there's a lot more people that want to know how to do motion blur. Y'all might be like, my PC's not that fast, my PC's not that good or whatever. Calm down, it's okay. I have one of the worst PCs. This PC came out in like 2010 or something, I don't even know. It has a i3 core processor, not a dual core, just a core processor. 256 gigabytes of storage and a four gigabyte of RAM. It's a horrible PC um, for if you're not a nerd and you don't know what the specs are. It's a bad PC. Get After Effects. If you wanna know how to get After, After Effects for free, I have a link in the description, just go check that out. It's really simple, quick tutorial. Shows you how to get it for free. And then to get the motion blur, is this thing called RSMB, which is, I guess, a fancy way for motion blur in the file. So you just get download RSMB. If you wanna know how to download that, another link will be in the description. So um, I'm just gonna be showing you how to apply it once you downloaded the um, After Effects in RSMB. And just like I said, all you need is um, any laptop or PC. You're gonna need your lightning cable and your phone, which I'm recording off of. So um, basically, all you wanna do is open After Effects. So I'll just open After Effects real quick. Where is it? Adobe Pre Oh, I'm tripping. After, basically, After Effects and Premiere Pro are the same thing. They're like both with Adobe. They're, they look the exact same, so it doesn't really matter. Premiere Pro, After Effects, basically the same thing. So just open up Premiere Pro. Okay, finally opened. All right, so um, so basically the only reason you're gonna need your um, lightning cable, your charger, uh, uh, in, in your phone is to plug it into this to get the files or the clips or the montage or whatever off of your phone into your computer. So I think I already have the videos that I want. So I'll just go to videos. This is one of my friend's videos. This one right here is called PDG. It's a, it's a thir um, one minute clip, but this is basically the file without uh, motion blur. So once you open Premiere Pro, you just wanna press start new project. So I'll just double click that. And I'll just name this um, uh, for YouTube or whatever, I don't know, for YouTube. All right, so boom, we named it for YouTube, press okay. And then this is the important part. Wait it till it loads up. All right, so the, um. What is this a preset so you just want to copy these let's take a screenshot take a picture whatever you want to copy those settings that i showed you there so boom that's that's that all right y'all can change the quality or whatever y'all want we'll just let this load up load up load up load up all right boom it loaded so uh to add the video you just go to file right here See if y'all can see it, you just press file and then you press import. So uh, this is from the clip y'all, y'all just uh, dragged from your phone to your PC or your computer. You just press the file and then press open. So it's gonna put the file into here. This is simple, so y'all can, if y'all don't understand, y'all gonna be like, oh my gosh, I don't understand. This is really simple. I, don't, I didn't even know how. I just messed around with the note, with the uh, application and figured it out by myself, so. You just, you just hold this, drag it onto video one, and make sure it's all the way to the left so there's no space like that. You just wanna let it go. Then it, it may show this, just press change sequence settings because it may not be the same as your um, as the export settings. So boom, there's the video, and this is how it's gonna look. Boom, 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 that's without motion blur. All right, so let me pause it. And now this is uh, where you want to add the motion blur. So after you downloaded it and did what the dude told you to do in the tutorial, you press effects right here. And then you press, uh, what is it? It's video effects. Let me just press that. And then you gotta scroll down until you see revision plugins. So you press revision plugins and then you see RSMB. So you drag RSMB and then you just drop it right here. Just wait till it loads. And my PC is too slow to show it with the RSMB because you know I have a slow PC, like I said. So you just go into effect controls, and I feel like uh, 0.50 is like really low. So I put mine 
at 1.2 like you see you can put it at 1.2 or 1.5 so just for this i'm gonna put it in between i'll put it at 1.35 i think that's perfect and it'll, my pc is slow like i said so I'll only show like five seconds of it so let me just try to play as much as possible y'all see my pc is slow so i'm gonna play it out but that's how it looks it's not gonna look like that when you export it trust me it's gonna look silky smooth so when you're done with your with what you want you just press file and then you press export and then you go to the side and then you press media so just let it load up and then the, this is where you want to make sure you have the right export settings so the export settings that i i think works the best is h.264 you want to press h.264 let it give it a second to load And then you want to scroll down. Just use this little arrow right here. Scroll, scroll, scroll until you see HD 1080 29.97. Uh, so you want to press this one right here. And then you might be like, oh my gosh, I don't want 30 FPS. I want 60 FPS. Boom, easy. So before you change the frame rate, I don't know if I can see right here. It's, it's not, it's not going to let me change the frame rate. Look. Oh, wait, it is. Wait, but um. <laughs> wait a second look um usually your levels on four so it's going to automatically be at uh 29.97 fps so you want to scroll down and put your level at 4.2 and then it'll let you put your fps at 60 so boom and i feel like the audio doesn't need to be as high de high, high definition as 48,000 hertz it can be 32 or 44 just for the sake of timing, I'm gonna just put 44. And uh, just go down back to the video. Make sure it's in square pixels. Never do anything else because then your video will come out looking all ugly and stuff. You don't want that. So put it in square pixels. And uh, you can change the output name, but I'm gonna just keep it. You know, what? I'm gonna just change it. I'm gonna just change the output name to YouTube so I know what file it is. And then here's another part. You don't wanna have it at 20. Um, 20 megapixels um mbps that's what it's going to say target mbps i usually put mine at around 10 because i feel like that's like just enough for mobile viewing so i put mine around 11 to 10 range just slide it to, okay and then the uh, maximum maximum bit rate what it can hit i put that at around 15 to 16 so i feel like that's perfect so 10 and then 16 and then y'all see the size it's not a big file at all because the um video is only a minute long and the size is only 77 um, megabytes. You don't need to you put the use maximum render, maximum render quality or the frame blending or the use preview. You don't need none of that. Just press export. Give it a second to um, encode the sequence and see tell you how long it's gonna take. All right, so boom, it finally popped up. It's gonna take about an hour and a half and it may um, keep going up or down. It's probably gonna settle at around an hour and like probably 40 minutes at most. So um, you're gonna probably be like, what? For a one minute video is gonna take an hour to process? Y'all gotta remember, RSMB is like, for some reason, it's so heavy on the files. I don't know why, but that's just a thing. It doesn't matter if you have an amazing PC or you have a really bad PC, it's always gonna be heavy. So um, it's gonna take a lot longer than you think. So it's, I just gotta wait about an hour and a half, like it says, or an hour and 40 minutes and it should be done so once it's exported you just basically um use this app called mega you download it on your pc and then download it on your phone just use mega and it'll pop up like this wait a second all right wait i'll just close it out wait a second all right boom it's gonna pop up but then it's gonna it's gonna um start loading in here you just gotta press okay if it's gonna be like do you want to send it to mega boom you just send it to mega basically it's gonna if it's on here once it finished saving it's gonna be automatically on your phone you just go to the mega app and then you just press download or save to photos or whatever you do if you don't know how to do that it's, it's a simple tutorial i'm gonna probably screen record it and show y'all whatever because that's just what i do but you know i'm gonna just show y'all real quick all right so to save in a mega you just open mega just do this super quick you just go to mega uploads you make sure you're in the account and then you press the little three dots that's that's your that's under the little file i named it stat mp4 and then you press save remember it was 77 megabytes and 76 megabytes 0.7 so it's just the same thing you just save to photos and 
to make sure it's saved, you just press these little three bars at the bottom, then go to transfers. And it's loading. It's about to save it to my uh, photos. And it saved to my photos. So then I just go to my photos. And here, that's the video. So I'm going to um, leave a link to the description of the actual video of how it looks with the motion blur. Because this is my friend's video. And the video is copyright. So I can't put it in my video because, you know, I got to... I can't keep getting copyrighted. My last four videos have been copyrighted, so I can't keep getting copyrighted. If you don't understand something or you need help with something, because I replied usually to most comments, unless you're talking about 1v1 me or you're trash or whatever, blah, blah, blah. I don't answer to those comments. But yeah, um, just leave a like, subscribe. My channel's been popping off lately, so I really want to thank y'all for that. Um, go watch my, next mo my last montage. It went crazy. I, I added motion blur on that one too, so y'all might want to check that one out. I'll see y'all next video. Peace.